Hey there everyone, this is Sean of Nintendo and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Metroid Other M. We're already at part 6 guys, can you believe it? 29 missiles, 1 energy tank, a couple of XL charges, there's a bug flying out of this thing! <laughs> oh man. So yeah guys, welcome to part 6, how you guys doing? Um, I'm kinda bulk recording all out of these. Cause um, I don't, I don't normally get a lot of chance to record, fortunately. Oh, did that guy just, did that guy just like, evolve? It's like a Pokemon? So you guys, you can see there's a missile tank over there. We cannot get that yet, but I thought I'd at least show it off. Yep, there it is. So, uh, okay, let's see now. Yeah, I'm bulk recording a lot of these. No, hang on. Just before I even got to talking even more. Okay, there it is. Okay, right above me. There. That missile tank took me a while to find. I remember the first time I did this, I could not figure out where that was. Okay, so we got a bit more wall jumping here. Alright, awesome. Die, 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 die. Oh man, I was supposed to like. Ugh. You see, you guys, even if you guys even remember the last video, I was saying that my throat was dry. Well, I'm recording this right after that, and I forgot to get myself a glass of water. So, guess I'm going this recording with a dry throat as well. Probably really shouldn't have done that, but it's not too bad, really. Just need a little glass of water, and I'll be fine. <coughs> oh man, excuse me. <laughs> Cause I don't want to. Oh, I hate having to like stop the recording midway. Uh, because it's a little bit of a pain with the the way I record. So, um, I'll just leave it really. Don't worry about it too much. Don't think you guys can really notice much. Okay, so let's see. Now we got more bugs. Stop. Oh, there we go. Bowling for bugs. Bowling for soup. Come on. Bugs, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, I threw him into the next room. Hey, you're not supposed to be in here. Oh, what the? Alright, then. Oh, what the? Oh, I forgot about these guys. Shit. Ah. Not. That's nor fair. Nor fair. Well, bang. Go, ah, get the fuck off me. Come on. Ah. I love doing that. I never got a chance to show that off before. Come on. Come here, you. Oh, okay. Looks like someone wants to play dirty. Uh, did you guys, like, see a rain? Ah, get off me! Gah. God damn, if you play them in hard mode, if that, get, if that happens to you in hard mode, you're pretty much dead. Uh, I'm not playing as well as I should be. But you guys can see, this is the room we were in that time. Where we fought the big tree. And that's the energy part. Right there. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. You should be able to get that as soon as you get, I think it's gravel beam or something. Okay, come on, die, die, die. Die, 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 and there's a switch over there, but we can't get it yet. Oh well. Now we can just bypass these guys, because we're supposed to be making up to that exam center in a second that Adam had mentioned. Now, funny enough, guys, there is another one of these trees here, but you don't actually have to fight it. I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna see how far I can get without fighting it, because you guys saw how how combat with these are really incredibly tedious. There's not yeah, there's the new one. But um here, I'm gonna show you guys there's a way you can you don't have to fight him. He gets in the way, but you don't have to fight him. So let's see if we can actually see how far we can go without fighting him. We can actually hit him from here I'm pretty sure. Da 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 I just got I was watching a hat films. You know they had if you guys ever watch hat films, the guys who like make these Minecraft videos. Oh I actually hit him. Um, <clears throat> there was like, they made this music video called Reindeer's Been Naughty. <laughs> and, uh, it was like, they were like chasing after him with like mur murder music going da 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 it's not freaking deadly aim. Guys, just good aim at those freaking green shells in Mario Kart 7. If you guys ever play Mario Kart 7, you guys will know that green shells, they hardly ever miss in Mario Kart 7. Okay, here we go. You can see he's still shooting us now. What we have down here, though, <gasps> an energy tank. Yay. Awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, there you go, guys. So you don't actually have to fight him. Let's activate this panel. And there we go. 
No bot, no point. Oh man, he almost got me that time. We got navigation boot. Unfortunately, we have to actually use a couple of these ones for a while. Sorry, right, really. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, note to self, next time get the drink that you that you want to get, Sean. Next time get the drink. <laughs> oh man, I know this room. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really sorry guys. But you guys can see it gives you a knife to the point of a missile tank way up there. But we cannot get it yet. Oh boohoo. And there's also another one of these power bomb doors. I failed to show a couple of these. This one here. I failed to kind of show off a couple of them. But oh yeah, here we go. Biosphere test area. Well, alright then. Oh, sorry about that. I had to... My neck was a bit itchy. An itchy neck. That's never good. Once I finish this recording, I'm taking a shower. Yeah, I'm even recording this before I even take my my shower today. <laughs> that's, that's that's because if I took my shower, I wouldn't have time to. But I guess I don't. I, I know I don't shower that long. But I just meant I'd have less to record. So, yeah, here we go, guys. The biosphere test area. This is a pretty cool place. I'm pretty sure we have to bomb that, do we? No, we don't. Okay, that's not, that, not that yet. Oh, come on, really? Do we really have to stop at all these navigation boots? Okay, we're up to about seven minutes. I know, I'm always like constantly hawking on the time. Oh my god. Why is my mic not staying in the proper place? He's falling. Okay, so here we go. There's a... Uh, we got a bomb here. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> oh my god, I'm going to be singing that song all the... Oh, <laughs> the entire episode. Oh god. <laughs> That's not good. Since I'm both recording these, I'm not quite sure how far Rock Paper Mario is after getting yet. Because as I'm recording this, he's only like after uploading I think, part 6 or something. I think he's only after uploading that. So, um... As I'm recording this, I still have to get around to watching this one. <laughs> we just have songs for everything now. Metroid musical. <laughs> uh oh. What do we have? Ah, hmm. oh, it's just James. James Pir Pir Pri Price or something? Hey, Price, I don't know. Hey. Ah! Oh. Gang's all here. Where's Lyle? Looks like he's late. Huh? Hey. The CPU seems to have self destructed. The self destructed, system eh? is broken into parts, but. I think I might be able to restore it and recover some of the data. Let's try it. Awesome. Like the CEO said, there might be some pretty crucial information hidden here. Well, while Maurice here is working his magic, the rest of us should search this building. Am I right? Got, Got it. it. All right, move out. Princess. What? Does this view bring back any memories? Yeah. Looks like the training grounds of the Galactic Federation. Oh, how about that? How did, how did Anthony get up there? Come on, Anthony. Okay, so. Now it's about nine. Oh man, this is this part of the game we have to move incredibly slow. Oh, I hate this part of the game. So stiff. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> uh, or so that's what she said, I suppose. There's no jumping, no morph balling. Uh, how, how do you think you could even shoot? You're just walking incredibly slow. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like we're doing a bit of like Mission Impossible here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know I'm coughing all the time, guys. Sorry. That's because my throat is dry, I guess. Damn it, next, I, I know I already reminded myself, next video, make sure you get a glass of water before recording the next one, if you record another one. So, um, let's see. Looks like a couple of vending machines over here. What are these? What the hell are these? I never actually took a good look at this. 
the hell are these? Are those like that kind of like liquid space food or something? No oh man, looks like someone got hungry here. Huh. Alright then. Let's see what we got. Couple of wires on the frets. Nothing too serious really. Alright then. Okay, looks like we got... Let's see what we got here. James, and it looks like KG, I'm guessing. KG, yep it is. I wonder what KG stands for. Yes guys, this is most certainly a bed. Good, good, good deduction there, Watson. <laughs> Alright, so... Anything more to explore here? Looks like there's a little bit of beeping. Alright then. What's behind? Lucky door number one. Okay, nothing there. Lucky door number two. Nope. How about lucky door number three? Oh crap! Of course it's tree that messes me up. What the hell? Galactic Federation? Adam, are you seeing this? It's a Zabesian. But it's been cybernetically enhanced. What is this thing? A cybernetically enhanced Zabesian? Continue your investigation. Everyone, gather round! Alright then. I'm coming. <laughs> she, she looks really funny when she's running there. I don't know why. Alright. So I managed to recover one piece of data. Alright. This bottle ship is under management of the Galactic Federation. In these facilities, life forms from each planet have been raised and researched as possible bioweapons. Site manager and development director, Dr. Madeline Bergman. Adam, was the Galactic Federation experimenting with bioweapons? Looks like it. Use of bioweapons is strictly prohibited. Of course it is. What's happened here is illegal. Who is Madeline Bergman? Must be the person in charge here. Is that all you've got? I didn't need to press Adam about it any further. I knew his mind. Not only was he a strong opponent of bioweapons, he was against the use of living things for unnecessary reasons, period. Life, no matter what form it takes as it's born into this often cruel universe, should not be tampered with. That was Adam's philosophy. In bringing the infant Metroid back, I did something that I know would have gone against his convictions. And, though I might have been left alone, it was a clear and blatant violation of protocol. I wondered what Adam thought of me. Out of nowhere, I suddenly found myself concerned with his opinion again. I've almost gotten it completely restored. But I'll bet they protected this thing with a seriously sophisticated security system. If I can't get past it, James, that'll be where you come in. Leave it to me. Shouldn't be a problem to hack into this thing. I mean, it might tell us what exactly was going on here. Looks like this might take some time now. Madeline might still be somewhere in this building. Keep scouting for more intel. Let's go. All right then. Looks like we'll leave him. Maurice work his magic. <laughs> Looks like we got a bit more slow moving. Oh man, do I just gotta go back to the same area? I seriously have another one of those Zambesians fall on the top of me. But, um, looks like guys, it's coming up to about 50 minutes, so I'm gonna end off the video here because if I don't end off the video here, uh, it just goes a bit, it'll go way too long. So I'll end the video right here. So thank you guys for watching this part of Let's Play Metroid RM. This has been part 6. Yeah, it was part 6, alright. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, bye bye for now. Goodbye!